Roses are red, violets are blue. Brendan will bring you review of Ford Racing 2. Ford Racing 2 was created by Razorworks, a UK studio known for making, uh, you know, all of the Ford Racing games and the Xbox Live version of Double Dragon for some reason, and it no longer exists. Not due to this game, of course, not, not due to the Ford Racing games, just Ford Racing 2 is just part of their legacy, I guess. In this game, you drive a Ford car to unlock a bunch of Ford cars so that you can drive more Ford cars. Now, I gotta say, this game is no Ford Racing 1, and it definitely is no Ford Racing 3, but this game has got the Fords to cover all your Ford needs. Now, as former president Gerald Ford said, this game has my name on it, so I like it. Let's see if we like it after a bit of gameplay. First off, we're presented with a demo at the menu. Now, back in the days when video games were just 3 to 57 polygons, these demonstrations used to play to give us an idea of what we were getting into. They were unsurprisingly more exciting than the games themselves. Ford Racing 2 is your standard racing game that races racing cars to unlock more cars for racing. None of this slot machine bullshit that's in the Forza games, but you earn the cars by completing the Ford Challenges. There are several challenge themes you can go through. The Living Legends Challenge, the Movie Star Challenge, the You're Still Watching This Video Somehow Challenge, the SVT Challenge, the Concept Challenge, the Off-Road Challenge, the Custom Challenge, and the Stock Car Challenge. All of these starting you off with a car or two with the exception of the Stock Car Challenge because, well, you just aren't good enough. I think the coolest challenge is the concept challenge because you get to play around with cars that may never see the light of day, only existing in the forbidden depths of Jay Leno's garage dungeon and this game. The maps for this game are something. There's your standard Midwestern highway, your old cowboy ghost town, a volcano where- wait, wait a second. Why is there a volcano in my racing game about Ford automobiles? Oh, it did 2003. Every game needed some kind of kick or spice back in the early 2000s. This game wanted to be spicy, so it got hot. Volcano hot. You know, though, for a volcano map, there's not a lot of me racing my car up into a volcano to sacrifice it to the ghost of Henry Ford, so I'll have to say out of video game volcano maps, give this one like a 5 out of 10. The racing itself is okay. You race cars. The cars move. They don't flip into the air or fall out of the map. X is a drive button. It's competent. You know, it's no Mario Kart, but it's also not big mother truckers. You know, they're big rigs racing, so... You know, I think that's a good thing. It's a racing game on the PS2. There's a reason I wanted to talk about this game. Well, two reasons. One, to remind people that there were more than three Ford racing games. And two, I wanted to talk about my grandpa. I would wanted to get this video out for Father's Day, but I pushed it back because I wanted to work on the jokes. I wanted some alright jokes before I talked about something weirdly personal. This game is one of the only games that my grandpa rented for me that for some reason still sticks with me. For all my weird childhood memories going into the movie gallery with my grandpa and picking out this generic racing game is one of my happier memories. My grandfather was... <laughs> he was awesome. He was a Vietnam vet, he taught me how to fish, to shoot a gun, and while I was a you know, little shit that only cared about his Game Boy, he still tried to show me that not everything is video games, and being mad about video games. There's not a day goes by without me missing him. And I hope you hold your dads and granddads and great granddads that love you closely. You never know what little moments are going to stick with you, and you should cherish them as much as possible. As for Ford Racing 2, you know, it's... it's okay. This is a racing game. There are cars. You get to drive them. It's okay. <laughs>